Hello viewers, today we have released another new application which is leap management system. So company leap management system can be handled using this application. So core feature is employee leap management, leap application management, leap appro approval management, employee attendance management, attendance report and leap summary details report uh, like uh, date range wise. So, now let me uh, show the demonstrate by login. This is the dashboard. I will just create a test leave application. So I can uh, attach a reference file for HR. Uh, this is the subject and description. This is the this template. Also the leaf type, casual leaf, department, IT approval, super admin. Save. So leave application has been created successfully. ID is six. So we can check the details for leave application. Also check the attachment and here is the download option. We can download uh, the attachment if required. Once we have successfully created the leave application uh, as a approver, super admin user can approve or reject it. Here is the leave approval list, update status, approved rejected pending. So approved, save. Leave application has been approved for employee user 5. So, uh, this is the summary of leave application. Mm. And as a employee user 5 uh, has been applied for leave application, and once we uh, log in as employee user 5, uh, let me log in as a employee user 5 employee 5 so this is the employee uh, dashboard employee user can access uh, his leave application only so employee user 5 already i have created uh, 6 1 2 3 4 5 different uh, uh, test demo application so where is we can check the details approved approved and if i go to the leave management so dashboard uh, details only can check the admin user and if we go to the leave management so here as a user i can check the my leave application details with date range but if i log in as admin i can admin user can check every employer by selecting drop down so here is the details uh, total uh, uh, leave application is uh, sick leave, casual leave, and uh, the paternity leave. So total five, and new and approved three. So we can change the date range. Like if we go to the future date, like February 11, and submit. Oh, February 12. like uh, March 01 uh, to March actress submit so uh, here is the uh, report for user and if I lo log out and log in uh, using admin user So as an admin user, I can check all the employees. So here is my default. And if I select uh, employee user 5, I can check the 5 also other user. And if I select employee user 5, and if I select the future date, like 11 February, 
sorry I have to change like 2000 uh, 23 not 2022 uh, submit so future date is not showing any data because uh, I as a employee user 5 I don't apply any future date leave application so admin can check the uh, leave application summary and leave status uh, report details and also here is the employee list and you can create a leave application and approve approve uh, user can approve here and core technical feature is like this application supported uh, multiple multi language uh, multiple database supported as well dynamic user role management system audit log so this application uh, supported like audit log here is the audit log so all uh, db operation create and update you can monitor from here and user management is uh, also dynamically you can handle and you can revoke uh, other user page access uh, from here and we have used sp.net core uh, .net sdk 6.0 and this application is code fast and uh, supported multiple uh, database like ms sql server mysql so this application is also uh, like uh, uh, role management is uh, dynamic so as default admin and general role has been created once you run this application so admin user can access all the uh, role and general user can access on lib application dashboard listed user listed uh, page basically so uh, let me create a test test role tbd i have to select uh, like uh, if i select check all save so test role has been created and if we uh, create a new user like uh, test user employee type permanent uh, email a1 password just one to three country and select test role also i can choose a file uh, save user has been created successfully uh, so we can check the user details here is the user details and we can check the minus user access so yes as we have selected the uh, test tool test tool can access all the pages so uh, see we can uh, access all the pages uh, let me just log out and log in using this newly created user So a uh, newly created user can access all the pests. So now I uh, revoke user access user role or update user role from test user to test role to general. General. Safe. So this user uh, now can access only few pages, not all the pages. See, just leave application. And once I log out and log in as a test user so i can uh, ch check just uh, specify my profile and leave application i don't have any leave application so and the reports i don't have any uh, report leave application report so all showing zero uh, if i create a test uh, report test leave application employee user uh, test user full day type casual leave department it approver super admin safe so see i just only check my uh, my leave application only and uh, once i go to the report i can check my report details uh, like casual leave one and status just one 
also I can check yearly or by yearly uh, report from here reset there is a reset option and if we select today so Uh, something uh, missing here I will fix uh, one after the demo uh, so um, if I log in again as admin user um, uh, I already here is the dashboard you can uh, here is the summary of uh, total employee employee type department designation user role we can go to the user role from the dashboard and here is the recent application and here is the recent register employee system setting you can uh, create set up company information email configuration leaf type leaf status employee type so all are dynamic and human resource so also you can uh, manage the employee attendance uh, from here test user check in time and check out time safe designation so you can add designation department sub department manage user role i already explained and in the user management we can uh, create and add multiple user also change the user role from here mm. login history so we we track the login history and keep in the database you can uh, you can uh, see the login details here in the reporting you can check the leave summary report uh, leave application report and leave status report employee was as a now i log in as a super admin so i can uh, check all the user uh, employee leave application summary in the attendance report also as admin user can check employee was attendance details Uh, apart from uh, we have uh, created a, a technical uh, details so this uh, all the demo data uh, no don't you don't have to worry about the uh, MS SQL DB script or uh, table and demo data once just you have to build using uh, SPR uh, Visual Studio 2020 or later uh, you can use like uh, a community version you just make sure the db connection properly and build and run the project once you run the project automatically uh, database and uh, demo data will create will be created and uh, once uh, in this uh, application uh, we have covered uh, like uh, multiple database connection multi-language feature of front and dashboard is also dynamic we will give you the complete uh, latest source code uh, which is uh, .NET uh, 6.0 supported and in the uh, front end we have used uh, jQuery data table also Razor view so hopefully uh, you will like this application if you wanted to enter if you wanted to interest or purchase this application just go to the code canyon i will share the link in the video description and apart from in the leave application uh, you can create this is the description by default mm. so this is the overall summary and if uh, you have further feedback and uh, new feature implementation implementation feedback you are always most welcome please share your feedback so that in the in our next release we'll add to the uh, your valuable feedback so thank you hopefully uh, see you in the next video